Well, every couple of weeks here on Halton News, we like to check in with Milton MP Adam Vancouverton, and that is today. And Adam, you know, I go through your social media before doing these interviews, and I see as of this morning, you're already out for a bike ride, and I heard 40 kilometers on a bike that's already been accomplished today. That's a like the minimum on a bike that you, you have to do. And you're right, Jason. Thank you for, for creeping me on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like that I've got another follower, at least, uh, yeah. now that we're doing these um, these interviews. That's great. I appreciate that. And yes, I'm training to ride my bike down to New York City with a group, a uh, supported ride. It's from Toronto to New York City. It's 850 kilometers. I've done it once before. I did it in 2018. But it's all in support of a camp called Campfire Circle, which is a camp that provides an experience for young people whose lives have been impacted or affected by cancer. That's the families of, of, um, of young people who have had cancer and, of course, uh, victims of childhood cancer as well. And I visited, it used to be called Camp Uchigeus. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know a couple of Milton families who have uh, benefited from Can Camp Uchigeus, but they combined with, with Camp Trillium, so now it's called Campfire Circle. Sort of both those camps are called Campfire Circle. So, yeah, the cycling part of it is just for fun it's just a good way to raise money and awareness for campfire circle um obviously childhood cancer is the most horrible thing uh but what campfire circle does is they provide kids with an opportunity to just be kids and it's a very special camp because they provide services kids can go up there and continue their treatment their families can come uh, it's just extraordinary and uh, and i've even been to camp when there were some young milton campers there and i got to chat with them about their experience so i'm thrilled to be raising money and awareness for them again uh, it's on my Instagram, like you said. And if anybody's interested in donating, then just head over to uh, to my IG. Maybe you can put a link on the television screen or something like that. Um, but it's an excellent cause, one that's close to my heart. And it's keeping me fit and in shape because it's given me a reason to train really hard so that I don't perish on this long ride down to New York City. Yeah, and that is quite a doozy. But of course, it is for a great cause. So it's great to see that you're doing that. Now, that started your day, but then you did have a big day. I mean, let's talk the Community Sport for All initiative uh, that has happened. You're out there announcing that later in the day as well. Well, Miltonians have heard me talk about uh, the Community Sport for All initiative. It's something that I, uh, with a couple of my friends and colleagues in Parliament, uh, communicated uh, at the very beginning of the pandemic, a need to invest in community level sport because the impact on community level sport from the pandemic of being closed down, not being able to do their fundraising and not being able to provide those services, particularly to the young people, but to families and to other vulnerable people in our communities was really, really devastating. So yes, indeed, I actually stole the placard off of the, off of the, uh, the podium this morning because I wanted it in my office. It's the Community Sport for All initiative. And it's, uh, it's a great program that's providing national level organizations with the ability to distribute funding to grassroots and community level sport orgs. Uh, so it's been a long process. Uh, you, we started having these conversations two years ago, uh, but today we're really, really pleased to announce 460, sorry, $4.6 million, almost $4.7 million for participation. Now, everybody knows participation. You might not be that aware of what they do, uh, but they have an app now with lots of great physical activity and recreation suggestions, but they also fund community level organizations like the one that we were at. We're in my colleague, MP Julie de Bruzen, uh, sorry, MP du Julie Zerowitz. There's lots of MP Julie's uh, riding of, of Davenport at the George Shavalo Neighborhood Center, which is an extraordinary little recreation center and cafe. And they provide, uh, we did a little bit of yoga. We did like youth, like youth drop in yoga. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, it's called body positive yoga. And, uh, and that's one of the programs that's funded by participation. So yeah, it was a busy morning, uh, but just thrilled that uh, participation will be able to distribute funds to grassroots and community level sport organizations across the country so that more people can stay fit and active uh, since um, a lot of those programs were closed down due to the pandemic. You know, stay fit and active is one thing, and that is a huge part of it. But one of the things that I bet, you know, you, you can, can speak to, and I, having played hockey and baseball uh, the majority of my life, believe it or not, now looking like, like this, is the social aspect. And I think that that is something that is kind of forgotten in the world of sport, especially with team sports and when you're training on a team. It is so good for the mental health of youth and really for everyone, actually. It is absolutely. You nailed it, Jason. It's about physical health. That's obvious. It's about mental health because obviously we feel better when we exercise, when you use your body. There's a whole endorse, an endorphin impact and lots of other reasons why you feel good when you exercise. 
But coming together as a community really benefits us all. It, it from the obvious things, it creates jobs, it creates opportunity, it's educational, um, but it also introduces us to people. Most of my friends are friends that I met through doing sport and physical activity stuff, recreation. Um, so we've got to keep that going because that's what builds community and builds the nation. So it's, uh, you know, it's really a no brainer, but it is complicated sometimes to get money into the hands of community level sport organizations. And that w- that's what this program will do. Adam, always a pleasure chatting with you. Let's do it again in a couple of weeks. I can't wait to see what you're up to next. Thanks, Jason. Good to see you. 